guys. Got a cool, cool thing I want to talk about today. Uh, sponsor of this video is Clan HQ. And if you guys are unfamiliar, what Clan HQ is, is a messaging app. But what is amazing about it is that it has tons and tons and tons of cool features, including integrations for all your favorite games. It makes it even easier to find people. You go, they have this tab right here, recruiting. You click on this, you can look around. There's some ads here looking for members, looking for groups, but then it gets really crazy. You click on the search, you go ahead in here and you say, oh, this just looks like a regular search. But bam, you pick Marvel Strike Force, come in here and you can look for people based on all of these values. So imagine, imagine being able to find somebody say, man, I just want somebody who's above 3.5 million total collection power. And you don't even have to like get them to send you screenshots or anything else. You just type it in here and it pulls up the whole list. It is amazing. If you're interested in this, I think it is amazing. And you guys want to get in on it, please do. It is uh, Clan HQ. Got it on Android and Apple products. They're amazing. Hey guys. I don't know why I do stuff like that. It makes me laugh and I just think, man, I need an intro. And then I just do stuff like that. That's what you get. So we're talking about something pretty exciting today. Um, some of my Alliance members have shown me this team. And I've done a lot of testing on it. And I'm going to show it to you. I kind of hinted at this a little bit on Discord the other day. So if you're not on Discord, you should probably be on there. On my Discord, link is in the description. As well as links for other cool stuff. Um, where was I at? Right. So this team... This is a really good team. I'm going to show it to you guys in a little bit. We're going to talk about it. I'm going to kind of go over it and show you a battle or two. But this team is really, really good in Ultimus 7. They uh, blew me away. I didn't think it was going to be that good. I thought it was overhyped by my friends or they had like big red stars or something. But I tried this team out and it, it blew away my expectations. I was able to beat a good couple of nodes. And I was surprised. I even soloed one of the, uh, I think it was the second boss node on my lane, which is the far left side, left side, left side. I don't know what direction your left is. This is my left. I was able to solo one of the boss nodes. Now I kept running out of time. That was the problem. I would time out, but I could beat it with one team without using healing. So that in my book is positive. Now, uh, sometimes this depends. I mean, if they target the wrong people, then obviously you're screwed and you have to start over. But so far it's the best team that I've found to use. So let's hop in. I'll show you guys the team, show you the characters, gear levels, everything. And, um, and then I'll show you some battles. We'll go from there. Okay. All right, so here is just a quick sneak peek at the team. Okay, you're going to look at this and be like, oh, of course it has Ultron on it. And yeah, of course it does. Okay, you're not going to find a team that performs the best without the best character in the game on it. Now, what you might be saying is like, oh, I would not have expected Shuri and Invisible Woman to be on this team. But now you can see that they are. So Captain Marvel kind of like, okay, like that makes sense. Minerva, okay, that makes sense. There's a bug right now with Minerva and Ultron healing. I didn't really understand it. So if you try this team, if you try Minerva and Ultron in any team right now, it's not going to be working right. Uh, they should be fixing that soon. Hopefully Fox next definitely knows about it. So we'll see. Hopefully they fix it soon. But anyways, so uh, Shuri, Invisible Woman, um, as you can see below, I just have recently gotten Invisible Woman to tier 13. She is awesome. I really, really like her. And I don't know, a lot of people are kind of just like, whatever about it. Um, I love Fantastic Four, but I like Invisible Woman the most. So got her up. The only one, so they're all tier 13 now, except for Shuri. She's only at tier 11, I believe. We'll look at them individually. Um, but she's only at 11 right now, and she's kind of squishy. But aside from that, she holds up the best. Everyone else has over 100,000 health, and I think she has around 70. So it's kind of rough. But let's look at the individual stats on them. So assuming you guys haven't seen any of my videos before, you're not going to know where my Ultron's at, which is why I want to take the time to show them. So level 72, uh, T4 is on all of his abilities, tier 13. I mean, that's just a given. We're not going to spend too much time on it. Um, his health, 114,000, um, I think is just the main thing that I want to show you. But we don't really need to focus on him um, because I talk about him a lot and I put him in a lot of my videos. Um, but yeah, so there you go. So Ultron, boom. 
Okay, so Captain Marvel, I've got T4s on the special, which I don't think are necessary, um, but binary and then the passive, those I think are necessary for this team to work. I mean, she's good to go. 119,000 health, good. Tier 13, uh, level 71. All right, we got Invisible Woman and we have uh, T4s on the special, which you need to have because this is so important for the team. So you need to have that. And then this one, I mean, it makes her just attack back a lot. Um, and she gains extra health, but I don't know, you know, I don't know if those are necessarily important, but, um, but she attacks back a lot. And so any, even though it's only an additional 50%, it's just more damage that goes back out and you need as much damage as you can get. Cause these dudes have so much health. So that's pretty good. I like that. I don't know if this one is necessary. Um, I like this one for fantastic forks to give them extra health and stuff, but I don't think it's necessary for this team to work, though I will say this one is definitely necessary, and I would do this one if I had enough gold for it. I would do this one right now, but I don't, um, because the offense down for two turns is amazing, and then you even get 10% more. So you'd end up getting 40,000, or excuse me, excuse me, end up getting 40% barrier, so that would be 40% of 114,000 is like, that would be 11, 11, it'd be like 40,000, in barrier so it puts everybody's health up to like over 150,000 so far so it's pretty nutty she's really good um and we'll explain how she works and why she works with this team in a minute uh minerva uh no t4s uh, we just have this because it's a blue material thing uh, but tier 13 level 71 um not really a whole lot to say about her we already you know about her and then shuri like i said she's a little weak only around 40,000 power uh has 70,000 health it would be nice if she had more health like if i have her at seven star or maybe a couple more red stars this team would be literally unstoppable um t4 is on all these abilities now which ones do you need for this um good question the healing comes in handy a little bit but with ultron's bots it's not super necessary so i wouldn't say you need it uh this you do not need I don't know if you need any of these, actually. I don't know. It just kind of depends. I don't think you actually need any of these T4s on her. Um, I would take her up. Oh, she is tier 11. I would take her up to 12, but I don't have enough of uh, laser torches. Um, I spent a bunch of those on something. I don't remember what. I was saving for Coulson because he's tech, and so I had 100, um, 100 of each of those things, the spike balls and the lasers, and I spent them all on something. So I don't know. I've kind of given up on that. I am going to now just be saving for I'm going to use them on her. Because I wasn't super impressed with Coulson so far. But that's another video. All right. I had to ask my alliance leader to uh, launch the raid. Because <laughs> uh, we hadn't launched it yet. So I had to ask her to get it rolling. All right. So I've got this lane right here. This one's me. Kind of go up. Um, and I'm going to tell you, I used this team. And this was before... Um, this was before I had Invisible Wind to Tier 13, so I'm expecting better things on this run, but I beat this node. It took two shots because I ran out of time, but I think if I had been paying... I didn't expect to do it. If I had been paying more attention, I could have beaten it in one run, but you'd have to just, you'd have to be paying full attention, like no, really no pauses. Uh, the timer is kind of like a weird issue, right? It's just kind of like, oh, you just run out of time, and it's like, well... All right, so let's give them a go. Again, I was, someone mentioned this team to me in my alliance, and I was like, that team's not going to work. Like, it's so bizarre. Like, it's not going to work. And then I tried it, and I was just like, this team really, really works. Like, wow. It's really good. It just boggled my mind. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in action. All right, so immediately before anyone else gets to go, defense up and energy. So it's like, oh, okay. And I mean, of course, there's a certain node strategy here. I might do something wrong, but what I've been doing is taking out Punisher first because his AOE really messes up the shield, or the, excuse me, the Ultron minions. Now, depending on the circumstances, you might use this. Oh, excuse me, can't even see. You might use her special here because it, you know, it kind of protects everybody defense up again, which we don't need right now. And it clears off negative side effects, whatever. But we're not going to do that because we don't have any negative side effects. We're gonna use this one because it gives them offense down and it gives us the barrier, which getting that at the start of the battle is great because then it just, you have it, you know what I mean? So it's like, you've got the big barrier and you're good to go. You can take a lot more hits and a lot of the problem that I've kind of run into with this raid is just like, you get like one-shotted by the craziest things. I got hit, I am not making this up. There was a Gamora that hit my character, and I've been joking about this with my lines, but a Gamora that dealt 156 
thousand damage on my team. And I was like, what the heck? Like 156,000. We're going to use this just to get the stealth up. And um, I was like, what in the world? Like, it blew my mind. I was like, why is this a thing? <laughs> like, 156,000. Like, it was nutty. So once you kind of, like, get this combo going, right, like, you just keep going. So we don't even need to use any of these because she nobody needs health. I mean, the minion could use a tiny bit of health. And her special is ready to go again, but we don't need the defense up because it gives defense up for two turns. So we're just going to wait on that, and we're going to use this. It doesn't matter. That's one of the weakest attacks in the game. But we'll just use that, and then we don't need to use her healing. But later on, her healing is really interesting because it kind of... Some of these nodes really turn into, like, Fear the Darkness, right? Like, it's crazy just the amount of, like, stuff that kind of goes on. And so, like, you can use that ability, and it just, like... Because it takes a percentage of their health, and um, it ends up being really strong because of that. Because you can just drain a huge amount of their health. Uh, with that ability because it does 20% or 25% or whatever and so it heals you up for a lot and so you don't always have to use it now we're going to use this just to make sure everybody keeps defense up because we don't want to risk anyone not having it because it's so crucial so we'll keep going here we'll blast crossbones out of here kaboom see you later buddy now sometimes later on in these matchups i don't know if you guys have been playing but like later on in some of these levels I, there was one dude that i blasted three times with that ability and it was nuts. I was just like, what? Like, three times with Ultron's big, like, exploding hit. And it finally killed him after three. And I was like, okay, what are we doing? <laughs> What's going on here? So now there's only three enemies left. So we want to go down into cooldown management because we want to make sure that we're ready to start this off the same way that we did the last one. So we need to really slow it down here for a second because we don't want... We can't start this without Shuri having her defense up or it's kind of troubling because then she can go first, but... You know, you just need it. So, you know, there we go. We're going to be able to have the invisibility. We're going to have Ultron's minions. We're going to have her binary. It's going to be good to go. It should be as long as Shuri gets to go here before this ends, which it looks like she should be able to. Perfect. So now the next battle will be to go. The cooldown management is... I, it's extremely important. If you don't do it right, it's not going to work. So, like, this team would never work on auto because you have to have the cooldowns right. So that's the first node. Now, as far as is it really efficient to do this raid right now with everybody's levels? I don't know. If everybody has this team built up, it might be. And, you know, it's kind of like, I mean, I know for me, like I used like BKT teams for forever in U6. And so maybe this just becomes like that type of team. Like this is the BKT team of this raid or whatever. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that makes any sense. But all right, we're going to go ahead and just do this because it just seems like a good idea get everybody hidden and for some reason it will occasionally just land on an ultron minion i think it's broken but fox next has not offered a response to me yet i don't know if they will you guys have heard me talking about that for a while now so we're just gonna keep going keep going we're gonna blast venom venom causes a lot of trouble because he can get rid of the positive side effects and that's trouble so anybody who can do that we gotta you gotta like get out just real quick get them out of there because they can mess you up but not like none of the rest of these guys like okay green goblin again can really mess you up but you know anybody else is just kind of like mm, well and so like you have to really know what you're going for here now we just got our cooldowns bumped up by miles that's kind of crappy um, we didn't you don't want that to happen if you can help it i mean you want it to land on somebody other than you know invisible woman shuri you just either one of those you would really prefer it not to land on so uh the interesting thing about invisible woman a lot of times i have noticed is that we're gonna go and do this just keep the defense up going is that what i've noticed is that a lot of times with um invisible woman is that when she counterattacks because of her passive um it, it really works out because she um it works out because she gets barrier back from her counter attacks because that's a part of her passive and so when she gets barrier back a lot of the time if she already has so much barrier it makes her very survivable in this so especially now when she has so much health i mean 100 and it's 114,000 plus 20 percent of that so it's like a hundred and like thirty thousand or something crazy like that so it's a really good amount a really really like solid number for her to have so and it helps this team has so much like dispel and stuff like even if there's dudes who have like a lot of 
you know, positive effects, like you can really get rid of those really easily. So now we got to be a little careful here with Invisible Woman. She doesn't have any barrier and she doesn't have any, uh, I guess she doesn't have any, any barrier or any positive effects, which is a little scary when it comes to these raids. Cause like I said, a lot of people just kind of pop out their abilities and just like whack you. And it's like, Oh, where did my character go? Oh, they died. So that one, I just went ahead and used that one just in case um, I was a little anxious about. No, nah, I mean, it only brought the one minion, but I was a little anxious about just not having them. It's better to just have a full board of minions if you can help it, you know, because Ultron is your damage dealer here. Everybody else, well, Ultron and Captain Marvel are damage dealers, okay? Everybody else is here to help them survive. So it's three, essentially three healers or supports and two damage dealers so you have to make sure that you're keeping them up so green goblin again he causes trouble because of his passive but when there's not that many spider verse characters on the team not a big deal so all right we'll go ahead and do that you know it also helps sure he gives deflect as well and that's amazing she helps heal on her passive as well it's it's not the same as minerva i think it's on her turn that it does it and minerva's is on the death of a character so it's interesting. It's a good combo. It keeps everybody held up. If you notice, like these nodes, like I tried running this with shield. I tried running this with brotherhood. I tried running this with mutants and it was just, it was not working. But now as you can see here, like I've got my cooldowns pretty well managed and like we're not having trouble. Like we're at full health and for the most part. And so now like I could use that, but I don't want to. The problem is, see, I've been talking so much is that it's very possible that we run out of time here, which I really don't want to happen because that will be very irritating and we're going to have to spend some cores for energy if that happens. But I am a little bit afraid that that is what's going to happen here. And we need to just keep moving. So, of course, I'm going to continue speaking. But I'm going to just be going like we're going to be going in. Are we trying to be? I don't want to waste abilities that we need later on. And especially just with, I mean, like I said, the cooldown management is so important here. It's going to be really close if we're going to be able to get this, though. So, as you guys can see, though, like you can see how this team works. You can see kind of like what they're about. And you can see like, okay, like this makes sense. So you kind of get the proper strategy. Um, you know, if I end up running out of time here, which I am, uh, I'm not going to spend cores to continue on to the boss node because I'll have to spend 150 cores to do that. And that's, I'm just not about it. But you guys can, I mean, you guys can see this for yourselves. It works and it does time out if you don't pay attention, which is the problem. We were not ever in danger of losing on that node, but we did time out. And that's frustrating, but that is kind of the downfall. I would rather beat it and have to spend 20 energy on it than to not, you know what I mean? All right, fine. I spent the course. I want you guys to see this footage. It's really impressive. I know you've already been watching this video for a long time, but if you watched all this time, I want you to be able to see the boss node too, because it's just, it, it really is impressive. It kind of blew me away. Easy peasy. No problem. All right. So this one can be a little harder just simply because uh, Carnage and Venom make it difficult and they're pretty beefy. Uh, Carnage's bleeds hurt really, really bad, but again, Venom can just flip stuff, and that's the problem. So if you see, we just took out like a quarter of his health, and it was 80,000 damage. Now, we may be in trouble here because it looks like Shuri might die, but then that's why Minerva's great because she can just revive. Now, we're going to go ahead and put the barrier up because that will help Shuri stay alive, and we'll use that. It puts offense down as well. Now, here's the problem. Look at what the F just happened. We just lost all of our minions. There's bleed everywhere. And that's when it gets ugly as stuff like that. Cause it's like, dude, like, whoa, you know what I mean? Like you didn't expect that to happen. So we'll go ahead and use this. It'll clear some of that stuff off. Keep us alive. Now it, it, I mean, like I said, these dudes are, I mean, they're rough, right? Like they're blasting us, but I think it'll, it should, it'll even out here. It'll even keel shortly. So let's get him out of here. Now, once he's gone, it helps a lot. Now uh, we'll do this. It'll clear the stuff up. It doesn't clear everything, but it clears enough. Now I would have preferred that it did not put Minerva out. But we should be okay because I think they did use most of their big hits. We'll get that defense up and give some energy, which is super helpful. That energy went to uh, Ultron, which he kind of was, his energy was a little messed up just due to the fact that they killed all the minions. But boom, there we go. And we're back in business. You know, the combo's flowing. It would be greater if we, of course, had the full board of minions. But it's fine, right? Like we're doing fine here right now this is exactly what we want to happen now that took a minute and a half and we've only taken out one character so it gets kind of ugly like i said the, the time runs out that's what the hard part of this team is so we'll go ahead we don't need to use that so we'll just go ahead and heal block him and uh, i mean her basic pretty much heal blocks 100 of the time you can upgrade it with t-force to make it heal block 100 of the time but i'm pretty sure it 
pretty much does anyway, so I don't have any issue with that. So boom, get that barrier up. All right, all good. We don't have any negative side effects, so Carnage really can't do anything right now, uh, which is good because you can kind of, if you're able to survive his initial onslaught, you can pretty, you can ignore him. So cool, we got him out of there. Now next, I really would like to take out Daredevil because he's big damage, and I don't like that, especially against villains. And we don't have a lot of villains on this team, but we have enough that it's like, okay, we need to figure this out. So Punisher is much worse. So we're going to move our focus over to Punisher because that dude will, he'll get us. So we're going to use this, just heal up some of these minions, might as well. That ability is really not very useful with this team. So we'll just keep on rolling this way. Again, Daredevil really, he, he hits pretty big. Um, we all got some good healing there, or excuse me, some good deflects there. Uh, we, mm, I'm a little nervous for Invisible Woman here. Oh, I did not mean to click that. I'm going to be honest with you. But uh, so I made a mistake there, but it's fine. Uh, we got her back. We'll go ahead and blast him because if he gets his AOE off, I think that would put us in terrible shape. So since Carnage just used his ability again, we're going to ignore him because he is not going to have that ability for a long time. And whew, that was rough. That was a really strong ability from Miles. That just did a lot of damage. So sure, he's down. We may be able to get her revived in a little bit but it's going to take time which is rough because now we don't have our defense up going and that mm, you know you don't like that so again i misplayed um and i regret that yeah minerva's down now now granted i've i've still continued to beat nodes when i have enough minions out because the minions really do a lot of the healing as well so it just depends i don't think it doesn't look like we're going to beat this um, this one is hard because of all the bleed and stuff. The other node has Star-Lord, and they just have big damage. They don't have the bleeds and stuff, so the bleeds really mess you up. Um, but as you can see, this is further than you're going to get with any other team. We're going to end up timing out anyways. So I'm going to try and keep them as alive as possible, of course. Um, that's ugly. She's gone. Um, but we're going to just do as much as we can here with the time that's left. Invisible Woman should survive. And we got Captain America out of here. And as you can see, I mean, you can see how it works, right? So I think if Shuri was uh, tier 13 as well, and I mean, if all of these characters were even just seven star, like it would be so different. It would be so, so different just because, I mean, it wouldn't even matter, right? Because they would just be so beefy, so beefy at seven star. Now, obviously some of them are, but not all of them are. I don't actually know if any of them, only Ultron and yeah, only Ultron is seven star on this team. Everyone else is not. Minerva's four star. Uh, Invisible Woman is six. Mm, no, Invisible Woman is five star. Shuri's five star, and uh, Captain Marvel is uh, six star. So it's like nobody even is maxed out except for Ultron. So you imagine if you had this team maxed out, now who's going to have this maxed out, right? Say, so look, we ran out of time. We were doing good with all those minions on the board. We might have been able to finish it. So, anyways, that's the team, and I want to show you guys that. Um, I think we would have finished it, except we ran out of time. So even in just a few minutes, I mean, we, we timed out on all the nodes. But so 15 minutes, and we're already at 5 million damage. And that's not with maxed out characters. That's not with, you know, it's not with crazy numbers or anything like that. I mean, it's hard to get characters. You need Ultron, Shuri, Invisible Woman. But, you know, what do you expect? Do you want a team that can beat the best stuff you need the best team so that's what i got for you guys um i hope that this helps some people because i'm sure i had no use for invisible woman in this raid i had no use for shuri in this raid but you put all that together that's the best team that is the best team available right now especially at that power level i mean i know people are talking there's like oh yeah like yeah i'm able to beat all this stuff with my 370,000 wakanda team and i'm just like okay any 370,000 power team is probably going to roll through this stuff but this team was 357,000 or excuse me 200 257,000 power and they were able to bust through a lot of this stuff and they just run out of time and they're not maxed out so give them a try i think you guys will like them i know i do and i hope that this helps some of you guys out and uh, if you have any questions please leave them in the comments if you're looking for more content like this i'm always 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 theory crafting this stuff and talking to people like i said i can't take credit for this someone in my alliance showed it to me so some of you guys may know it already i had never heard of it and i'm not seeing anybody use it so make sure to share this with your friends if you think it'll help them it helps the channel if you share it and uh, hopefully it'll help other people so Hope you guys are having a great night. You're awesome. Thank you for supporting me, and we'll catch you in the next one.